にグニーエクセプロードYou guys, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! Everybody's seen those coin polishing videos, so I thought to myself, I want to make one of my own, so I did. I just used things laying around my bathroom to make this video. I first started off with the foamy hand soap. You can use gel or foam, it doesn't matter which one you use. You could see the dirt come off right after I started scrubbing. Then I switched over to a mouthwash that was laying on the other side of my counter. This got rid of some of the more stubborn dirt on the coin. I let it soak to try and get more dirt off. I let it soak for about one or two minutes before I switched over to using the next cleaning product. The next thing I used was an unused bottle of toilet cleaner. This worked better than the soap and the mouthwash combined. You can see the more stubborn dirt slowly start to come off after I started scrubbing with the toilet cleaner. Here's it finished, and here's the other side I did off camera. And here are the products I used to make this video. Hope you enjoyed! I scrub this sink every time I do the dishes and I was just convinced that it was stained, but somehow the, the magic erasers, like, they, they really are magic, I swear. I mean, like, look at it, it just brings it away like it's nothing. Like, <sighs> yeah, just stay to the end and you'll see how absolutely great this thing did. I, I swear I'm not sponsored by Magic Eraser, I'm just like dumb and don't realize cleaning supplies work. Oh, I think it snows in this man's house. I wish it snowed in my house. I don't really like snow, so I'm gonna clean this. Oh God, I bet he's here for me. <sighs> I got as much loose stuff as I could. I'm gonna wipe her down now.
I already hit the floor once with the carpet cleaner. We're going right into round two. Just refilled this with hot water and soap. This is what I pulled out from the last round, so. This is after round two. It looks really good. This will determine round three. Oh, girl. Definitely gonna do a round three. I rinse and clean the lid after every use as well. Jeez, that's disgusting. All right, we're going into round three, fresh water, new soap. This is after round three. My carpet is like a whole different texture now. I am ill. Let's see what the forbidden soup says. Girl, how? How? I'm making myself do a fourth round just to see how dirty the water is. Cause how? These literally go all the way up my arm. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's all you guys get today. So um, stay tuned. There's styles. Um, we'll be back for more.
So I woke up this morning and realized it was raining. I was like, well, there's nothing to do. So let's clean and surprise my roommates of a clean house. So I looked at my room and I was like, I'll do that later. So then I went to my bathroom and I just like cleaned the bathtub. I poured this cleaning stuff into the sink to like clean everything in the toilet. And then I swept the hallway and then I mopped the hallway. I know it's a ghetto-ass mop, but it's okay. So then we went downstairs, and I just picked up everything, and then I sprayed off the side tables, and I wiped those off, and then I put up, like, the pillows and folded the blankets and everything. And this is me pretending to vacuum because one of my roommates is sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. And then I sprayed off the kitchen table, took out the trash, moved the shoes, swept the whole, like, hardwood floor area downstairs, and then I mopped it. Come back for part two of seeing the whole thing. Car seats can get so disgusting, especially when they're left in the back of your husband's truck for a couple days. Cruise was way overdue for a cleaning. I start by removing all of the pads and putting them into the washer. Make sure you wash on warm water. Cold's not going to get them clean enough and hot can cause them to shrink. Do not put the straps into the washer. It can cause undue stress and make them unsafe. Of course, make sure you follow your manufacturer's recommendations for your particular car seat. On the plastic and the straps, only use mild soap and water. Do not use anything like vinegar or bleach as it can cause the plastic to degrade. I love using my Rubbermaid Reveal as it allows me to get down in all of the crevices. Once everything is clean, make sure you rinse it off and allow it to dry. Once the pads are done in the washer, put them back on the car seat to allow them to dry in place. Do not dry them in the dryer as they could shrink. Here's how to clean your dirty makeup brushes without needing anything fancy. Take some soap and put it on a plate, then add a little bit of water and swirl it around with your finger. Now you're ready to take your dirty makeup brushes and move them around in the water to start getting all this makeup out. Once your brush is kind of soapy, you can rinse it out and you'll see that your brush is all nice and clean. Keep doing this with the rest of your makeup brushes. I have a lot of makeup brushes, so this took me a while. If you get lazy, just do a bunch of them at the same time. This one's my favorite to do because it gets really dark from doing my eyebrows every day, but it's actually white. Here's all my makeup brushes, and now it's time to do the most important part, which is hang them up. I use these little elastics and hang them all up so that they don't dry in any weird shapes. All clean.
So I had this mysterious stain on my bed for the longest time. I took this Clean Freak Mr. Clean shit and some Glorox wipes, scrubbed the hell out of it, and look. So I got a Gucci bag for my birthday, see my previous post, and apparently I wore Fashion Nova jeans with it and it got stained. So I got this on Amazon, so I'm like wiping it down and it didn't work, I'm screwed.